I can't believe it's here, the ending of Attack on Titan is finally here and in today's video I'm going to be explaining the good and the bad of Attack on Titan and why it's such a controversial ending for such a good anime series. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about the AOT ending, as you guys have known. The AOT special, a one hour, like an hour and a half special, aired last weekend, and it's it's basically going over the full final chapter of Attack on Titan. And this is where a lot of people, a lot of people are saying that it was bad. I remember a couple years back when the Attack on Titan series ended, they were saying that, ah, yeah, the ending just didn't rub well. I did manga series justice. And I do think that that has some valid points. I'm going to be going over all the good and the bad in the Attack on Titan anime ending. So let's start off with the good. Let's start off positive. I think that there was a lot of things that were done well in the Attack on Titan ending. I think that the animation was good. Uh, you know, it's Studio uh, Studio Mappa. I'm not surprised that they did some crazy animation with all the animation that they have going on recently, like Jujutsu Kaisen, a lot of other projects that they're working on. They were even working on One Punch Man. It's kind of crazy how they had this crazy special pushed it out. It wasn't too long since the other one. I think it was like in early, early 2023, the other special came out. The animation by MAPPA is excellent. There's no complaints there. And if there are, you're, you're just delusional. <laughs> the animation was really good in these specials and there was nothing I would say to fix them. Positive reason as to why I liked the Attack on Titan ending. I think that a lot of plot holes were covered up in this special uh, or in the specials like why what happened to Zeke what happened to all the other Titan shifters what, what was going on with their past how Armin was able to actually fight Eren which is I, I did not expect that at all that was definitely a plot twist for me um, I knew that he was gonna transform and probably like nuke Eren but to the fact that Eren survived that nuke and he went ahead and fought him I just did not see that coming at all and I did definitely did not see Mikasa being the one to kill Eren I had no idea that was gonna happen I'm not even I, I was so surprised about that so I definitely think that they did a good job of all the plot holes that was going on in the last last season like the actual season where we had 12 episodes <clears throat> i think they did a really good job in telling the story i don't think it was rushed i don't think the pacing was off i think it was very good like compared to others shonen and like you know black clover or my hero academia like attack on titan pacing was pretty good people were saying that it was bad you know back in the wit studio days with the second season and the third season but i think that the pacing for the specials and the mapa seasons were really good and i enjoyed it thoroughly there were so many plot twists so many um, plot mechanisms that i just didn't expect so i think that they did a very good job with that so now let's move on to the bad parts of the ending i think that a lot of people were confused about the Mikasa ending, they were like, I don't understand this, this doesn't make sense, this doesn't align with their character. You know, as Ackerman, she can't basically buy the person that she's imprinted on, basically, which is Eren, of course. I also think another really, really bad narrative was when Armin and Eren were talking to each other, I guess, in the paths. I think it was very, very confusing that um, Eren had you know, feelings for Mikasa, I was like, wait. And even though they're basically not blood siblings, I still do think that it's weird that they have, that Eren and Mikasa had feelings for each other. It's just a really weird dynamic. I know it's J J Japan and they're doing all that anime shit, but uh, that's not it, man. That's really not it. The ending where they were talking about being diplomats and everything and trying to basically make sure that Paradise Island doesn't become like <laughs> Germany, basically. And, and it, I was really confused about that part as well. Um, I get it, you know, cause they're, they're still saying, oh, you know, Aaron just killed like 80% of the population. They're not just gonna, not just gonna lay down and take that. So I do get that at a certain point, but um, it's kind of crazy how they would be, I guess, hostile to the heroes that actually went ahead and stopped the rumbling. So I do think that they left a little bit of, you know, a little bit of mystery there. So I guess a lot of people probably aren't happy with that as well. I would say another bad part is the, the ending credits where they were like showing uh, Mikasa, you know, going ahead and visiting Eren. People were just mad about like, oh, is she is she, is she a virgin? Did she ever get married? Oh, like they never they never talked about that. The plot progress, we need the uh, plot ending. We need to figure out if she's, if she actually, you know, found somebody else other than Eren, which I do think that 
they did show it in the credits, but people were saying that she had, she died a virgin with, she had lilies on her, on her grave, or her, her, on her funeral, that she got buried with lilies, saying that she signified as a virgin. I have no idea. I don't care. I don't really care about that part, but a lot of people are pissed off about that, apparently. Let me know in the comments if you're pissed off about that. Why would you be? I really don't care about that. I do think a very confusing part of the ending was the, the ending credits where they showed a lot, where they showed civilization passing by, by behind Aaron's uh, behind Aaron's grave or his tombstone, buried him, and then they sh showed civilization behind it, and they were just basically progressing all the way into time, and then there was basically a civilization that went ahead and developed rapidly and then they started to do you know post-apocalyptic war and then they just bombed themselves to oblivion and then after that it shows a another person and a dog walking up to Aaron's tree and it looks exactly like Ymir's tree or the tree of life where she first started with the paths and everything else so it kind of leads off to I guess a sequel I guess people are, people are uh, expecting a sequel the history repeats itself is kind of like the subliminal subliminal message of the ending that history is going to repeat itself no matter how many wars there are there are going to be new ones so I do think that maybe that sets the story up for a sequel to Attack on Titan maybe like a post-apocalyptic world after civilization was very advanced but now it's not anymore because they just blew themselves up so maybe that happens with titan shifters into the into the future let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see that but it's really weird how they would do something like that and i had no idea how they would pull off something like that what do you guys think what do you guys think of the ending i i overall think that the ending was good um i know i'm just adding in <laughs> i added in a lot of bad stuff but i think that's really speculative like i don't really care about Mikasa's ending you know, I don't really care about she if die, she died a virgin, if she married, I don't give a fuck. But I guess people are so mad about that because they're, you know, so interested in the anime. And I, lo I love the anime, but I'm just not interested in that to give a fuck about that. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments, which was Attack on Titan ending good or bad? And let me know what you guys think about the good parts and the bad parts. And give it a like if you guys liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Go.